to Wednesday to get us underway with Barry Bannon work it towards Liam Palmer just drops it down in towards Dominic Iorfa Dominic Iorfa again getting another opportunity back in the team and unfortunately the, the news isn't good on Ben Hennigan he looks like he's going to be out for the rest of the season after that injury he suffered against uh, Lincoln a bit of blow that for Ben who'd been doing so well for the team yeah it's massive yeah it's just, it's such a shame I know when he had uh, a minor problem that kept him out for a, a few games, he was he was desperate to get back in there, and I think the manager had been holding him back just to make sure that he didn't aggravate it. And you know that was hard enough for him, but uh, being out for the season that will be uh, mentally a tough challenge for him to overcome. As Wednesday looked to try and clear it away here with Dominic Iorfa, lifts it towards the halfway line and finds Wilkes, steers it out wide towards Patterson. His touch was not the greatest, but he gets back at it and tries to turn his man, it has gone out of play, but it will be a throw in here for Sheffield Wednesday. Even my seven-year-old goes, that referee didn't give anything. <laughs> I didn't even uh, know he understood the referees that well. I'm thinking you've called it. Ball just goes forward up towards Onyango, but not able to stick with him. Palmer. In towards Backinson, needed to be careful, he got caught, he's trying to get back there. Hasn't won it back though, That's and now they're going to run through. Good strength there from Onyango, gets a strike away. <laughs> Wasn't great power or pace, but it was a good run. It was a great run, I mean, he was really strong there. Danny Bashiru plays it back. Palmer gives the ball short. Dominic Iorfa goes down the line. As Wilkes been held, he appeared to be. Yeah, off larger. He's wrapped round him there a few seasons ago. But he's just staying further back as the ball is played in towards the area. It comes Jumps. to the edge of the area. It's Johnson! Oh! Uh -oh. It seemed to come nicely for him on his yeah. left foot, but he couldn't keep it down. Best chance for Wednesday, that. After 20 and a half minutes. You know he's capable of striking the ball. That's a bit better than that. I think maybe he'll feel he should at least uh, get that on target. Ball goes back towards the right-hand side. It's with Deli Bashiru. They try and close him. Goes back for Bannon. Flicks it inside. Now the long legs will get it back again. Deli Bashiru. It goes in towards Backinson. The keeper spills it. Will it come for Bannon? It will. Bannon tries to curl. Oh! Oh, what a wizard! Barry Bannon finds the corner. Spellbinding stuff on Halloween weekends. Scarily good finishing that from Barry Bannon. And Wednesday really out of nothing. The goalkeeper spilt the ball. And Bannon, well, he didn't panic. He didn't rush it. And he picks the corner of the stanchion out. And Wednesday get the opening goal against Burton Albion. Wednesday won, Burton Albion nil. Good header won by Wednesday and Mark McGuinness. A long ball attempted there by Backinson. It hit the heel there of Wilts. Unfortunate. Didn't know an awful lot about it. Wednesday recover it with Smith in towards Deli Bashiru. Oh, Wilkes tries one of those flicks that didn't come off for him midweek and it didn't there either. He goes inside, Wilkes looking to try and attack the space. He plays it for Bannon. Barry Bannon again, twinkle toes. Nice, he does, he works it on, he gets it back again. Takes the deflection, appeals for that ball and he's given a penalty oh. as the ball went wide. The referee saw it and points to the spot. And Wednesday have another opportunity. Will Bannon be the one having a go? Because we haven't got Windass in there. Smith, I suppose, probably is the most likely taker. But now they have the opportunity to go into a 2-0 lead with Smith from the spots. Come on. Here he comes, blasts it. Yeah. In it goes, never in doubt. Garrett went the right way, but the power took it past him. And Sheffield Wednesday now 2-0 up against struggling Burton. They'll be wondering quite how things have turned around, but that's football for you. You get one, and all of a sudden, maybe the pressure's lifted, and Smith took that penalty very confidently and scores at the cop end. Having started the match pretty well. Yep. So Darren Miller's in uh, Maguire's bar in uh, Tenerife with the Barnsley Owls. Come on, Wednesday, he says. Dominic Iorfa having a bit of a tussle here there with... And a Bajajo. Oh, well done. And still using strength to try and get that ball back. I thought uh, Backinson was going to keep the ball, but he hasn't. It's come out for Smith. Smith puts the crossover. It just goes past everyone. I think it was a little 
Slight touch maybe there from uh, Johnson. Great opportunity. I thought was... that was a great opportunity. Yeah, I think you have to go with your head on that one, though. Deli Bashiru first times it. That wasn't great football from Wednesday. None of the passes looked particularly comfortable and we lost it. Last thing we want to do is concede before half-time. They've managed to find space on the right-hand side. It's worked inwards, in towards Onyango. Just trying to turn. He slips it away. Maybe a chance to get a crossover, and it does come over. And a stooping header that is off target. Half -time. The referee has blown for half-time. In towards Hamer. Hamer for Smith. And we know he can make things happen. He's trying to dart away there from Johnson. Moves it in. It's a decent ball. A good pass. He might get it on the return here as well, Smith. Is it going to set it for him to maybe get a strike away? He moves it on instead, though. A low cross. Mark McGuinness on the stretch gets it away. Excellent. Still, work. they try and cross it over. That was like Power was yeah. just trying to put it in. Great work from McGuinness. That was a tap in if he'd not got his foot to it. In the Papa Johns as well. So, wouldn't be surprised to see Winnell coming on at some point. Bannon moves it forward in towards Patterson. Patterson. Controls oh, it, turns really inside, well and then tries ball. to pick out Smith and finds him. Smith cuts it back for Bannon. Now a chance for Wilts on the edge of the area. Goes for goal! What a way to score your first league goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Wilts with a stunner. That is so, so good from Wilts. Frighteningly good as Wednesday get a third goal here. Surely no way now. Back for Burton Albion. No, I mean, great play from Patterson, a great ball. Bannon lays it off to Wilkes. One touch, puts the ball on his left foot. <laughs> Garrett, absolutely no chance, finds the corner. Right to the corner, fantastic goal. Yep. But he just seemed to stop as if to say, right, I've done my bit, now you take over. Crossed over by Bannon, and there's a chance, and it's off the line. It was a good header that was on target. How is that off the line? How was, I don't know, he stopped that. that was it was Smith with the header. So uh, Gregory, Wednesday yeah. aren't uh, saving their legs for a rainy day. They're going to get them involved for a good 25 to 30 minutes. I think he'll take Smith off. Yeah, maybe he'll be the one who's played a lot of football since getting himself back to uh, full fitness. Goes in towards Johnson. It's played through now in towards Deli Bashir trying to turn his man. Great skills. He rolls him. Can he cut this back? A chance for Smith. It's off the line. Ricochets back out. Will it be forced over the line? It's a right old scrap on the post. Somehow it doesn't cross the line. Deli Bashir was having a go. So too Smith. And now he's given a foul against uh, Patterson. Oh, what a scramble that is. Okay, it's Osser Larger and the goalkeeper. <laughs> and somehow they get it away. Proper goal, Mel scramble that one. Probably the first bit of luck they've had defensively for Dominic Iorfa. When's they go long? Is he going to get there? He's he is. Stay in play, yep. Yeah. It's with uh, Danny Bashir, who's just slowed things down and then tries to change the pace. Just flicks it away for Palmer. Inside now for Wilkes, similar spot to where he scored. And he tried to play it through that first time. He gets it back again. Deli Bashiru puts it in the air. Can Wednesday head this one home? A looping oh. header hits the bar there from Patterson. Oh, he's oh, so unlucky. Deserves a goal today, Callum Patterson. That's a lovely flick. And flicks it in towards Bias. Chance now offside. for Gregory. He's offside. Flags up, though. The block tackle from Hughes was really good, though. He wasn't necessary to know. He kept playing to the whistle. Yeah, good defending. It's a larger Wednesday. Quite happy to keep them penned in here. And force a mistake from them. And there's Patterson again putting pressure on Hughes. And back for his keeper and that pass from Garrett ain't great and he's kicking not great either. But that's just from Wednesday forcing the issue. Letting them have the ball where they're not really going to hurt us. Yeah, and Patterson uh, playing his part as always. Johnson has the ball in hand. It's thrown in towards... Tony Bashir didn't quite have the, the power to get away on that occasion. Oh, that's Wednesday a great ball. Again. Is he offside? No. Well, he just bent it slightly in towards Wilkes. Wilkes sets himself, lays it off now for Deli Bashir. Oh! Oh! Places it in. Oh! It's turned into a horror scoreline now for Burton Albion. But calmness personified there 
from Deli Bashiru. He went for placement, teed up by Wilkes, and Wednesday make it 4-0. It was Patterson that uh, found Wilkes, really. I mean, no, it was a great ball. Yeah, it was. He bent the run, didn't he? Potentially, if he'd hit it straight, there might have been a, a question mark about whether he would have been offside. Nicely headed there by Mark McGuinness. Again, trying to find Wilkes. Didn't quite work out. And now they'll look to saunter forward here. Burton, as they try and find some sort of consolation, it's with Smith. He goes inwards looking to try and trick his way down the line that's nicely stood up there's one back it's a nice header inside the six shot area Winnell put it away and it's not going to count well Winnell finished it well oh yeah it is a yeah, goal given it was a bit of I don't know a question mark for a second the referee was in conversation but Winnell just had to check so uh, Byers and see what he can produce from this delivery. It goes into the area with a bit of pace. And there's a chance for McGuinness. It hits someone on the line. Penalty! Right, but, it away from it but it is a penalty. There was a foul committed on Patterson. And maybe Patterson might be uh, given the chance to get deserved, a goal. He deserves it. This penalty in front of the Burton supporters at the Leppings Lane end. Here's Gregory. He slams it against the woodwork. It doesn't go in and then hits Patterson and goes out. It'll be... A goal kick, so Gregory doesn't take up that opportunity. Lee Gregory seeing a, a penalty come back off the woodwork just moments ago. As Hamer tosses the ball in towards the Sheffield Wednesday box and they've still got the ball, it's still alive. And with uh, Kayla Dunn, goes back out wide and they ping a crossover and that's in. Stockdale seems to be rooted to the spot, it's gone in. And maybe this game isn't quite done and dusted. Deceive uh, David Stockdale and goes into the net. Can't afford to switch off again. And Smith plays it inwards there towards uh, Onyango. A little one-two and they've got another chance perhaps here for a long-range hit. Just goes wide on that occasion. That time it was Whittle. Well, yeah. Win all, yeah, he's, I mean, that's inches wide of that, uh, that far post.